Hello everybody, what is up? My name is King Spinach, and welcome back to my Borderlands 2 Handsome Collection Edition playthrough as Gage, the Macromancer. We're gonna uh, do a bunch of quests in Sanctuary today. So first we're gonna do Rock, Paper, Genocide, which is super fast, super easy. Just teaching you all about all the elements. There you go. Yep, thanks. Now we get to do shock weapons. See, it's that simple. It's super duper easy. Uh, and I think the shock weapons are gonna actually be really interesting because Gage is apparently really good for shock weapons, so that's really, it's kinda good. Corrosive is good against all the guys with yellow health bars, and then Slag is really, really cool. So, Slag essentially allows you to do double damage. So you can slag somebody and then you hit them again for extra damage. Alright, and then we're... Out of here, nice and easy. Uh, we're gonna re-equip that leather Gatling gun along with Flint's tinderbox. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna take a peek in here for a class mod. Exactly, perfect. All right, this is what I was looking for. So, team elemental effect plus 18, gun damage 20, weapon anchors. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Shield capacity and shield recharge. Right. Let's go with the uh, catalyst. So, class mods basically uh, give you different stats and eventually they'll be so good that they'll give us uh skill points and then we can use those skill points and um they'll boost up like some of the skills in our tree so a good class model uh boost up the skills that you spec'd down into and then you'll uh get better effects from your skills then so it's kind of cool it's a good neat idea Now, if you're here to kill me, you should probably know. You never take me alive, you robotic stone bitch! <laughs> love Scooter. I absolutely love Scooter. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang me upside down from a telephone pole, come for me, huh? Now, you gonna help us out with this rolling situation? He's really tall, though. Heard them Crimson Raiders Maybe Gage is tiny. Rolling told me if he ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, plan, turn this city into a floating ass fortress of airborne awesomeness. <laughs> B. I, I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, you'll need this uh, radium here too. Just gonna take all the stuff in his stuff in his place and grab some of these fuel cells. One here and one right down mm -hmm. here. We'll grab the iridium and we're on our way. Well, let's head to center of town and plug those two fuel cells into the ignition primers. You're gonna need a third, which is why I gave you that here red rock. Uh, you can buy the last cell from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. Uh, he had one of my cars once. Yeah, the whole car. <laughs> like with a fork. I think we're gonna, yeah, put this one in first. I hear a new vault hunter has arrived in your city. Roland said we got. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna turn you in. See, I don't think I've ever actually heard that dialogue because I'll always put the thing. I'll always put the things in and then. Uh, it skips that dialogue every time. There are like some pieces of dialogue in this game that I don't think I've ever actually heard. Which is kind of weird, if you think about it. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, that's the way it is. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the backpack SDU so we can just carry more stuff. Um, because then we can sell more stuff later on, so that's kind of nice. Black Market just allows you to upgrade your ammo capacity and other stuff. Oh, we gotta install the third fuel cell. And then, uh, I think we'll be on our way after this. We'll probably end up heading towards the Bloodshot Stronghold or something, I think. Nah. Boom. Alright, thanks for grabbing all that stuff for me. Third degree burns are best taken in shifts. Now, to see the fruits of your loins, <laughs> it's gonna fly. Majestic. Nope, didn't work. Damn. Well, now we really gotta find Roland. You know what? Maybe get to Roland's place. I think he might have left a message there for you. Yeah, here's Roland's place. Vault Hunter, get in. Roland left a message for you. I'll take the key, and first we'll actually check the guns thing. Oh, there's a nice sniper in here. 
It's decent, but I think we're just gonna sell the rest of this stuff that we don't need. Cash this in, and we got an SDU upgrade, which means now that we can uh, we can equip more guns. Oh, we should buy that sniper rifle. Okay. All right. Now we have a sniper. Yay! Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. And now I think um, there's just a couple other things to do around Sanctuary that just kind of introduce you to characters. So, Claptrap's got a secret stash. He's basically just telling you that there's a place that you can actually trade items between characters. So, uh, I can like... Get it. I could take that bonus package that we found and give it to a different character because I'll put it in the secret stash and then once that character makes it to Sanctuary, they can use the secret stash and get stuff. Um, we also have a mission from Dr. Zed. Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerkbag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. All right, so we're gonna help perform surgery. Right, you should stand on the table. Just below his sternum, but be careful. We don't all right, we'll make a. Uh... Oh yeah, I jumped all over him. <laughs> all right, so. How many times I tell you, idiots, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. And here's Claptrap Stash. Well, right there. No in the black market. It didn't refine yet. We just got that quest done, and now we'll uh, go cash this into Patricia Tannis. Patricia Tannis, coming back from the first game where she had all these echoes everywhere that we had to uh, pick up all the time. Worst quests ever. <laughs> A new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. And she is insane. Smart. Maybe. She's super insane, though. <laughs> After hours of scientific insanity, you could only imagine in your dreams. Of right, here we go. There we go. Nailed it. Of a and oh, we gotta use Roland's safe for the hunting the Farhawk quest. So since we're here, we might as well just grab it. And this safe is where you can store stuff uh, for you. So just for this one character, uh, but you don't want to carry around. You'll just put cool gear that you find in there. All right, and now picked up that last quest, the Doc Mercy quest from Doctor Zed. Oh, and we gotta walk, actually, because we haven't discovered the place yet. So what we're gonna do is, let's look at our quests, and... Hmm, I think we're gonna do the name game first, because that's nice and simple. Uh, this is an easy, easy quest for, um, Sir Hammerlock, where you just end up having to kill bully monks. And it's actually a really funny quest, too, so... It'll be good, it'll be good to play it. Whew. But yeah, we're going strong. Sorry for the lack of combat in this uh, in this episode, but we'll get we'll get some bully mon kills going, and then it'll be a little bit more entertaining than just running around and picking up quests. God, the panting is weird. I don't like the panting. Uh, <laughs> I can't I can't help but absolutely just not like the panting. Oof. I think basically all you have to do in this quest is just 
complete l some little objectives like shoot bully mong pi or uh, rocks out of the air when they throw them at you, kill bully mongs, and then search their uh, piles, like the little rock ice rock things. Oh, nice! We got our we got our bubble gum. Yeah, bubble gum. I'm gonna go right over here first. On over this way. All right. And so we need to search bully mon piles, and you can't just run them over. You have to actually go up to them and then like press the button or whatever. All right. So that's one. It's two. Ooh. And yeah. And sometimes the bully monks will hit you and give you an awesome boost. Just like that. That's three. There's two more. Four. Five. Alright, now we can kill him, I think. Oh, we have to blow them up with grenades? Oh, I forgot about that one. All right, well, have a bonus package. Ooh. Ooh, ir iridium. Yes, nailed that. Oh, Savage Lee. He's a unique character. Nice, that's why we got a bunch of uh, stuff for killing him. We basically let the bully mongs do all the work. Oh, we have to shoot their projectiles. Okay, so I'm gonna run away. No, throw more things, throw more things. No, throw more things at me. Throw more things. Uh, where's a slinger? Is that a slinger? That's not. I need a bully mong slinger. Or sorry, a ferivore slinger. Throw stuff, throw stuff. Oh, I missed. Nope, nope, get away, get away. This is definitely the hardest objective, because getting them to throw stuff is tough. And then shooting it out of the air is a little bit harder, too. Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah. Alright. Well, there was one last guy over here that maybe we can, uh, piss off and then... Okay, there we go, there we go. Start throwing stuff at me. Nope, looks like he's stuck. So let's just finish him off. Alright, he's probably down for now. Yep. And uh, there's one other place where we can go to uh, actually get these projectiles. Because I think there's some slingers back in that direction over there. Oh, wait, what did that say? Oh, no, that says stinging cactus. I saw the S, and I was like, ooh, a slinger. Bully monk slinger. Yeah, they're over this way. I'm glad we got to kill Savage Lee, too, because that was a nice little boost of experience there. And we leveled up, so I still have to put in our skill point. Don't worry. I didn't forget. We'll put in that skill point. All right. I bet there's some slingers over here. No, that's an adult. That's an adult. Or, sorry, just a regular standard one. What? We don't have a slinger? Where are you? Are you also just a regular? Alright, we'll just kill him. Come on, guys. Yeah, this uh, this projectile thing is definitely the definitely takes the longest. Ouch. Ooh, 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 slinger, slinger, slinger. All right, you need to go down now. Both of you need to go down. And then we'll just. All right, one. Nope. Try again. Try again. Nope. I'm so bad. Two. Don't worry, this is why we have a third weapon. This is what our sniper rifle is going to come in handy for. Ah! 
Come on. Oh. Oh man, now I'm getting assaulted by Rack. Okay. Let's try with the assault rifle again. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Toss another, toss another, toss another. Let's go, let's go. Get some distance. Nailed it. Alright. Yeah, boner farts. <laughs> Alright, and there's a few more over here. But now we can, like, kill them with our, like, car and stuff, so. We just go really fast. Get rid of them. Alright, one more. Where are you at? Alright, we're good to go. And now I think we can actually, uh, oh yeah, let's, Southpaw Steam and Power. I think this is, a, this is a good one to do. Um, oh, we're actually running out of time here. So you know what, we'll travel to this area, which is Three Horns Valley. And uh, now that we're here, we can do, in the next episode, both the Doc Mercy quest, where uh, Claptrap will come in super handy. and Or not Claptrap, uh, Death Trap. And, um... We'll also do the Assassinate the Assassins quest, perhaps? That's a long one. That's a tough one. Um, but we're going to try to do the uh, Doc Mercy quest. The quest that happens after the Doc Mercy quest, where you have to kill um, 25 bandits with an E-Tech weapon, that one, uh, that one takes forever because that E-Tech weapon uh, kind of chews through ammo, and it doesn't do too much damage, so it's a little bit tough to do, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next episode. Uh, but until then, I'm out. Peace.